the media kind of coined this term body dysmorphia. And while as a clinician and someone who has it, I'm so great to hear that this word is out there. It's often misconstrued. When I look at body dysmorphia, I feel like it's a watered down term of what BDD truly is. Body dysmorphic disorder is a very severe psychiatric disorder where a person has a perception about their appearance where they see a defect or undesirable part of their body, often neck up, that to an outsider doesn't see it at all. But to the person suffering from it, they see it as awful, defective, disgusting, and prevents them from functioning in day-to-day -day life. I developed BDD in my late teens, but was not diagnosed until I was 22 years old. When I was in um, elementary school, middle school, I was bullied based on the fact that I had curly hair, and I never realized it until later that that actually was the precursor for my body dysmorphic disorder because I felt that because of the way I looked, I wasn't good enough. And so as I got older, it transferred to my skin on my face and I felt that anytime I had any imperfection, any acne or anything on my face, I felt like I should not go out in public. I actually had it really develop bad when I was 20 years old and I missed a semester in college because I couldn't leave my house for a month. And at that point I didn't know what I had, I just thought that I was ugly and defective. And then it wasn't until a year and a half that I got the actual psychiatric diagnosis of body dysmorphic disorder and started to get the treatment for it. For a person that truly suffers from the diagnosis body dysmorphic disorder, they can feel minimized and feel like they don't, other people don't truly understand what this is because I've heard so many people say, but everybody has body dysmorphia. And when I think about my own struggles, I don't think everyone just sits in a house for a month. I don't think people would have as many medical leaves. I've had three to four medical leaves my entire life because I couldn't function optimally because I couldn't leave my house. And so I think it's important to have this message out there. I think the same way that we say it's just OCD, I think body dysmorphia is more of an adjective and it's not the actual diagnosis. So there is this differentiation between the two. And that's part of the reason that I like to speak because I want people to understand that I've had this disorder. I have taken medical leaves. I have been at the floor of my bathroom crying, thinking I can't do this anymore. How am I gonna make it through? And I've picked myself up. I've gone through the right treatment. I've gotten the right support. And I wanna to continue to give back to the community that gave me my life back. And so I want people to know that they're not alone and that they can get better and live a true full life.